So Adobe have just made a quite significant update to Lightroom Classic uh, with the October 2021 version 11.0 and there are new masking features in Lightroom which are a significant improvement and can be quite useful for editing and processing aviation images. The top bar in the develop panel has now been completely reorganized and houses the crop, heel, red eye and masking features. In the new masking panel you will still find the old brush, gradients, colour range and luminance range tools. But now you will also find the automatic select sky and select subject tools. So what's really useful for an aviation image is to select the sky. It takes a few seconds for Lightroom to recognise the sky and then zooming back out you can see that Lightroom has actually done a fairly good job. Now the real killer for me for an aviation image is a white sky or a very light grey sky with hardly any texture. There are a few clouds in this one which isn't quite so bad but it would be nicer to have a bit of colour in the sky. And now the sky is completely masked we can make adjustments to make the sky look much better in appearance. So in the new masking panel we can add and subtract masks from each other. So in this case I'm adding another mask by using the brush to the existing mask so that we can make the canopy of the F15 look a little bit more natural and a bit more transparent by letting the blue sky through the glass. And as you can see from before, you can still add further masks by selecting Create New Mask and adding further masks. So just for illustration, I can add a linear gradient in the top left hand corner just to darken the uh, corner of the image. There's an info panel as well which gives you the keyboard shortcuts for all the different masking options. In addition to that there's a further menu which is worth looking at for different overlay options as well. And the actual masking panel can be undocked from the sidebar which is a new feature for Lightroom. It's fairly common in Photoshop but they've brought that facility over to Lightroom now and that applies just to the masking panel. And from the menu in this panel you can delete or duplicate the masks as well or even intersect them with other masks. And the undocked panel can be reattached to the sidebar just by dragging and dropping. So let's take a look at a different photograph which is a raw image, uh, an unprocessed image so far. So I will edit this from scratch in Lightroom and using Photoshop and Topaz before we go through the masking options in Lightroom to improve the sky a little bit later on. But this photograph of an F-18 Hornet, I'm just going to process using my usual technique in Lightroom by adjusting the exposure, highlight shadows, uh, whites and blacks as well, adding a little bit of texture and the haze as well. Now I'm going to edit this image further in Photoshop and once into Photoshop I'm then going to apply a filter uh, which is going to be in this case the Topaz Denoise AI plugin. I've made a video about this recently before and uh, I'm a relative newcomer to Topaz Denoise but I'm uh, completely converted now and I'm using this on almost every single aviation picture I take. So my usual settings are either standard or clear and in this case it looks like clear is probably the best option. The standard option looks like there's just a little bit of uh, speckling on the bottom of the aircraft on the paintwork. Uh, which isn't there on the clear. So I'm going to choose clear and apply that and return to Photoshop.
Once it's back into Photoshop, I will do my usual sharpening process, which is uh, duplicate a layer, go to image and desaturate to desaturate that duplicated layer, and then apply a filter and it's down to other, high pass filter, and for a 20-ish megapixel camera, I will use a 3.5 or a 3.6 pixel radius. I will then change that layer to an overlay blending mode and then save it back into Lightroom. So as I mentioned earlier, one of the things that really ruins an aviation picture for me is a boring, flat, light grey, uh, featureless sky or indeed just a plain white sky. So if we can do something about that, then it's definitely worth making the effort to do it we can change that by using the new masking menu by going into there and selecting sky and the machine learning in the new software will automatically select the sky for us. Once the sky is selected we can change the color temperature and the dehaze sliders to bring out the texture and the color in the sky. And it's important not to go over the top with this one. You're just looking for a subtle effect just to give a little bit of atmosphere to the photograph. So a touch of uh, blue color temperature and a slight increase in dehaze makes the image look completely different. So I think this new masking facility in Lightroom where you can use machine learning to select the sky and make adjustments to it are going to be a real benefit to us aviation photographers. And what's more, it's quick, simple and easy to do and produces fantastic results. So I'm just making a few further tweaks here with texture and clarity. So that's my final image. That's the before and that's the after, before and after. Thanks for joining me, I hope you found that useful and see you again soon.